hello everyone welcome back to my channel is this even still my channel i think um it's time for me to like be myself on youtube yeah it's time <laughs> it's the morning i slept really great last night for some reason yeah i've been taking hold up I've been taking melatonin every night for the past like I think two weeks and honestly my sleep cycle is just like back on track like I cannot believe this so yeah I woke up um so I slept like I slept at like I would say midnight which for me is like really good because usually I would sleep at like two three four in the morning before you know what I mean so um and also for the past like month i've been meditating and stretching every night before sleep so i think that's also helping my you know my cycle so anyways i'll have to say that i woke up today i'm feeling great i'm feeling energized i just ate some breakfast and now i'm just gonna show you guys my like routine in the morning um like what's really important for me in the morning is to take my coming back yeah what's really important for me is to take this it's husk silicium and this shit really helps me go to shit okay because guess what your girl is always constipated Yay! yeah yeah so i used to drink this in water um and then it really just helped me shed like every like every day <laughs> if i don't take it like my shit are just awful anyways tmi let's move on so when i'm taking this i always like taking my vitamins with me Oh, my vitamins are like always by my window um so i take ashwagandha vitamin d i take like two two or more a day honestly um i take b, b i take vitamin b now because um i'm trying to go back vegan and eat less meat slowly but surely and i take iron because girl you know what like <laughs> if i don't take iron i might as well just die and this is some vitamin c so these are my vitamins that i take i highly suggest that you take some vitamins too and while i'm doing all of this wake up with me thing um let's just talk about youtube and where i am right now with youtube and how i feel and yeah i take ashwagandha really for like my stress level and my anxiety because i have a lot of anxiety <laughs> um so yeah i take that and yeah let's talk about youtube and like how i'm feeling and just let's just chat honestly okay i think i already told that in my in one of my other vlogs that one of my superpowers is that i can take a lot of pills at the same time <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyways um so yeah while we're doing this let me just light some candles so you know like i'm a small youtuber like we call it and i don't know i find it really hard to like post um on youtube and to just even know what to post um like i'm reflecting by back on my videos and i'm realizing that a lot of my videos are like i'm just doing videos that i think people will like but i'm not doing videos that like i like i like you know what i mean so i'm like okay Maybe that's why I've been feeling like so uninspired with it and I've been thinking of just quitting. <laughs> but uh, my intention with this candle is to just bring some more happiness, some more light and some more joy into my life and some more peace. Yeah, so before I light a candle, I always like, you know, set an intention because, you know, this candle, there's no intention. Just, just be you. Just do what you can. <laughs> um... So yeah, I feel like with YouTube, I've been like doing things that I think people will like and not things that I think I like. And yeah, like that sucks. Um, and so I'm like, okay, like I'm a failed YouTuber. So let me just be a failure and just be okay with it. And just then if I'm already a failure, let me just post whatever I want to fucking post, you know, like that's it. So yeah, I'm feeling like a failed YouTuber. <laughs> guys i got my towel for a bag by the way like this video is going all over the place but that's me uh, that's the real me i'm all over the place like i'm not anyways um yeah that was, that was bad. That was bad. like oh 
she's pretty like she's kind like i wait hold up let me flip the camera she's cute right <laughs> anyways yeah that's the bag um yeah maybe i could also call this this uh youtube video showing you guys my tougher bag anyways um i don't know but yeah that's my bag so yeah watch youtube and to continue yeah like you know when you're a small youtuber it's really hard because like it's like you're posting and some people are seeing it for sure you know i'm not gonna say that like i have 300 people who clicked on my videos and were like yeah i want to see more of you so that feels great like i'm always oh i'm always gonna be grateful for like those 300 people um but at the same time like it's so much effort to make a youtube video and so much editing that sometimes it's like bruh like i just wish i just wish the platform would support people who are starting you know what I mean? Um, like, we can compare YouTube to TikTok. For example, I just started making TikToks, and I feel like this platform care more about their creator because they're, like, pushing some of my content. Not all of them, but at least some of my content is being pushed, and I know it's being watched, you know? So it's like... So, of course, as a creator, you want to invest more of your time on the platform that's actually, you know, supporting you and not YouTube. But I know that YouTube can be very rewarding the more you do it so i'm like okay i should just i should just keep going and keep going as being a failure yeah i'm like embracing being a failed youtuber right now yeah yeah don't that was the word okay like don't have pity don't have pity for me <laughs> Like, I'm good. Like, I'm honestly being a full YouTuber kind of feels great because then I can do whatever the fuck I want. It doesn't taste bad, but it has a taste, you know? Like, it just has a taste. It tastes like fiber, I guess. But today is a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's nice. I'm trying to finish this so that I can go on with my day. Oh, merde. C'est vraiment pas bon. Over here, let me just show you guys some things in my room that I've been loving that makes me feel great. So, let me show you. Like I said, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny as fuck. I love it. Um, the first thing I love in my room is this closet that's like hanging outside. I love it because then I can see my clothes, I can see the colors. I'm, I feel inspired just by looking at my clothes. And yes, I'm a minimalist in clothing. I don't have a lot of clothes. Um, and then we have my plant, some of my plants down here. Um, this beauty is amazing. She's thriving. She's growing. And I have my Monstera that I'm like, girl, please grow more. But she's she's doing her best she's doing her best okay um i kind of need to clean her leaves a little bit but yeah that's my monstera um i'm low-key panicking right now because i'm like checking and i'm like bro are you okay i think she is um and then we have this plant it's called an, an elephant something it just reminds me of kinky hair for some reason and i love her and that's a new plant that i just potted um, so then here I have my art. Well, it's not finished and I don't give a fuck. I'm a failed at everything. I'm a failed artist. I'm a failed YouTuber. I'm a failed painter and we love it. Welcome to my 20s. <laughs> so this is a, this is like a bag. Like I kind of love this accent. And then here we have my Telfer bag. And instead of this, I put my candles. Well, some of my candles. And then this is my other favorite section. I have my another plant here i have this beautiful accent i don't know how you call it but it reminds me of haiti and africa for some reason oops 
and I have my books, my essential oils, and then here I have my like, you know, I just put everything here, <laughs> and some candles, and here, yeah, and here too I have my flag, some of my wig, and here I have, oh, I have another plant, my fig tree, I love her, she's pretty, very pretty. And here I have another candle. That's a candle for protection that like I'm working like on this protection spell for me. Um, because I've been feeling like a lot of, you know, bad energy coming at me for some, not bad energy. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, this is a black candle that signifies protection with my crystal new I only have one crystal, guys. Like I, don't, I have one crystal. I don't do crystals a lot, but this crystal for some reason is like, I don't know. I, I feel her. And I'm propagating another plant. Wait, let me unzoom real quick. I'm propagating another plant, but last night I kind of burned her with my candles. But yeah, she's good. She's ready to be planted, but she's ready to be planted. But because of COVID, um, I can't even buy pots because in Canada, like in Quebec where I live, um, like it's not essential you can't really buy things that are not deemed as essential basically so that sucks so yeah this is some things i've been loving in my room that makes me feel good and like at home and at peace and my yoga mat like i really try to go on my yoga mat like at least once a day like at least i would love to go more on it but let's be realistic here let's be realistic anyways in my bathroom um this is my morning well this isn't actually my night skincare routine but my face is feeling super dry so today i'm gonna just take care of that so i'm gonna start with um double cleansing with my almond oil um and um people use a washcloth but i use like wet wipes only with water it's and they're flushable so you guys should get that so i think two will be enough and let's actually wash my face yeah this is my cleanser kalamazoo from lush I don't know, I feel like people are talking less about Lush, but it's still good, huh, guys, by the way. Um, I love this cleanser. I've been using it for, like, what, um, three, four years now, and it's amazing. Clean. <sighs> Water is, like, dripping off me. And now so we're gonna exfoliate with this Kate some Kate Merville. I don't know if it's Kate, but Merville um, something. And it's like this um, exfoliator. It's a chemical exfoliator. I've been loving more chemical exfoliator on my face, only on my face. And you only leave it for two minutes, one to two minutes. Ooh. And after like you take it off, your face feels so soft. Okay, it's time to take it off. Oh, my hands are like sliding. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna brush my teeth. Yeah, use an electric toothbrush. Like, since I've been using an electric toothbrush, it's been like six months and I can't go back to like a manual toothbrush. Like, what the fuck? It's 2021, love. Um, and now I'm gonna do my abs. After I'm done my Chloe Ting's workout, I literally hate her. I'm like, when I'm done and I close my computer, I'm like, I hate you. 
Cause what the fuck? She, I hate her, I can't. So, out of the shower, I'm clean. My face is super dry, don't mind it. I still put aloe vera on my face every day. Just, you know, I don't know, it moisturizes, it gives me a glow. And, yeah. So I usually use this brand of retinol, but I ran out, so I'm using the Mihad Retinol Serum. And I usually use the vitamin C during the day, but I'm out. They're supposed to come in like almost a month, so yeah. So this is like a serum. It just sucks when all your skincare products are like running out at the same time, it's like bro. So put a caffeine serum just to like brighten the face a little bit i don't think like i wasn't expecting you to like this caffeine serum from retinol and um, this caffeine serum from the ordinary but i actually do like it's pretty good like i don't know what exactly it's doing but i'm like i think i'm gonna purchase it again because i think it definitely helps with like brightening and um, this is a Lush moisturizer. I've been trying a lot of moisturizers lately. Um, I love the Clinique. Like last, the two months that passed, like November, I was really loving the Clinique moisturizer. But I feel like it, you kind of run out of it fast. So I don't like that, but it's really good. But Lush never disappoints me. So skincare routine is the Charlotte Tilbury eye cream. Um, I love this eye cream, but the only thing I would say about it is that it gets chunky. Like, it's not as smooth as it, as it used to be, so applying it becomes harder the more, like, the more time that passes. So, I, I hope, like, you know, they find a way to, like, for the formula to not do that, you know? But it's really good. You guys will see as I put it. You see how, you see how it gets chunky? Like, it wasn't doing that before. But nevertheless, I love the finish look. I kind of have to put it on my hand and like smooth it out myself. It's not fun. This was super expensive, but I think I'm going to buy it again because, yo, I feel like an eye cream is just like, it's just a game changer. Like if you have dark circles, you should be putting an eye cream, you know. So I have like three different kinds of sunscreen. I have the Neutrogena one, I have the Super Goop, this one, and I have the La Roche Posay. Um, the formula, sorry, um, the formula in the US is better than the one in Canada for some reason. So in Canada, I don't like this sunscreen, but in the US, I love it. Um, Neutrogena, it's probably not the best sunscreen, but I love like. You know it does the job and if you really put it like if you apply it really well there's not gonna be that much of a white cast and the super goop it's really good but my only thing is that i can't use it every day because yo it's so small and like yeah if i used it every day it wouldn't even last a week so that's why i prefer using the neutrogena one because listen it's just better Yo, if you're not applying sunscreen to your face, like, I don't know what you're doing. Like, especially if you're dark and you suffer of, not you suffer, you have hyperpigmentation. Um, you should be putting sunscreen on every day, love. So, this is my face after everything. Um, I feel like it looks really good and I kind of have this glow, I look awake, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's pretty, it's a pretty chill video, it's like wake up with me type thing, and while well, I show you my products, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one, yeah, let me just flex my skin a little bit, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>